On May 13th, a picture showed up on Makaira Tramble's Instagram account. She was wearing an Oklahoma State uniform. The All-American, who has been a member of a Southwestern Oklahoma State University program that has been dominant in recent years, is heading to OSU for the upcoming season. Tramble was named the Division II Ron Lentz National Player of the Year following the 21-22 season, a year in which the Lady Dogs went 29-5 and won their fifth consecutive Great American Conference title. Trample herself put up numbers that led to many postseason honors, like 20.1 points per game, 5.2 assists per game, 7.1 rebounds per game, and 2.8 steals per game. Player of the Year honors in the GAC and an All-American nod for the second straight season followed that. The cover is not bare for first-year OSU coach J.C. Hoyt coming into Stillwater, but this is definitely a big add to her roster. And speaking of coaches... The Swasu program will head into the 22-23 campaign, needing to fill more shoes than those of Tramble. Also leaving Weatherford for a new challenge is Southwestern's head coach, Kelsey Music. Music had an incredible run in her 13-year tenure at the helm. The five-time GAC Coach of the Year had a record of 259 and 125 during that time. The up-tempo brand of basketball was must-see entertainment for anyone within driving distance of the Pioneer Cellular Event Center. Music brought Swasu women's basketball to a place with which its latest iteration could be spoken of comparatively with the program's glory days in the NAIA. And when that fast-paced offense was recently paired with a strong defense, the result was a 35-game winning streak and a national runner-up finish in 2019. Music led the Lady Dogs to five consecutive trips to the NCAA tournament, including this season. Thinking of Southwestern women's basketball of late almost immediately conjures images of Tramble or music or both. And to think of either of them wearing a color other than Swasu blue on game day is just a little odd. But this is 2022. Tramble is heading to Stillwater and music is heading to Tulsa. And they won't be on the same court anymore. Or will they? Is another ORU-OSU matchup on the docket for the upcoming season? If it's not, it should be. It would be worth the price of the ticket to get to see how Music would prepare to try to defend one of the best players she's ever coached, or to watch how Tramble would go into a game understanding the head coach on the opposite bench likely knows her game better than she does herself. And it would be a game to draw fans from all over the state, even with groups of people from Shawnee, Tramble's alma mater, and Weatherford itself making the trip to either campus or even a neutral site chosen especially to highlight this matchup. Oral Roberts University and Oklahoma State University didn't play each other last season, but did match up the three seasons prior with the Cowgirls winning all three. The all-time record between the schools has Oklahoma State with a 27-15 advantage. The last ORU win was a 55-51 overtime victory in Tulsa. If this game is not yet on the schedule for the 22-23 season, this is a formal request from Midwest Sportsnet to put it there. If this matchup is secured, the moment it goes online, the date will be circled on the calendar and money will be set aside for a ticket. Please do this.